Hi everyone, this is Murat Karpner. Today we will talk about dark matter and dark energy. The first thing to know is the reason why we call them dark. It's not because they are black, it's because we don't know anything about it. Let's start with dark energy. It's a kind of energy that was put forward to explain cosmic data. According to Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, in 2015, there were approximately 6 tons of dark energy in the circular orbit of Pluto. This amount is very low, but on the contrary to ordinary and dark matter and dark energy, homogeneous in the space. Observable universe consists of around 68% of dark energy, 26% of dark matter, and 5% of ordinary matter. The most important data proves the existence of the dark energy is growth rate of universe. There is a driving force that hastens the expanding of the universe. So scientists came up with the idea of dark energy. Gravitational force pulls the matter to one another. Meanwhile, a positive pressure can be seen. This, the amount of the dark energy, is supposed to create a negative pressure. Okay, this is not a simple topic to explain. In every detail in two minutes, our aim is to draw a frame for these two concepts and encourage you to do some research by yourselves. Who doesn't wonder what covers 95% of our universe? Let's talk about dark matter. They don't interact with electromagnetic waves. We can only know their existence by looking at the gravitational effects. As these matters don't interact with light, they cannot be observed directly. We can only see the effects they cause around themselves. What is in the dark matter? Today we still couldn't discover this. I think things could be different if we could see dark matter. There are a lot of empirical, I mean observational data. Let me give you one example before the end of our time. Galaxies consist of many celestial bodies, like stars, moons, planets, etc. Every galaxy has a center, and the bodies turn around this center. This center of galaxy, but their turning speed is different from each other. Their speed should have been explained with their distance from the galaxy's center, but we cannot explain by looking at distance. This means there are some matter that affects their speeds. Even if we cannot see the dark matter, we can understand by looking at their effects. Okay, this is enough for today. See you in the next videos. Take care of yourself. Thank you.